exciting video. First of all, I would like to start off by saying for those that don't know me or don't know anything about this channel, on this channel we speak about stock, cryptocurrency, personal and business credit. Also, we ask that you subscribe to our channel as we provide um, videos, at least four to five videos a week. It doesn't cost you anything. We're in the process of growing this, uh, this market, this sector of the market. Now, let's talk about Lordstown Motors delays endurance EV pickup production due to supply issue shares fall. Now, Lordstown Motors should be enjoying, uh, the market should be at 7 to $8, right? Because a lot of people should be excited for getting the $230 million from Foxconn. For those who don't know, Foxconn are the, the, the company that assembles apple uh the apple phone well the sales fall uh failed from it went up to like six dollars uh over six dollars and it fell sharply now this article is from thursday but it's still relevant today because the stock is below five dollars today and let's talk about why did the shares fall uh, Lower Sound said commercial production of its endurance EV pickup is now expected to start in the third quarter or next year compared to the second quarter. The company said the delay was caused by an ongoing global issue with auto supplier and supply chain. Some commercial production and deliveries of Lower Town Motors, Motors, the first product, and all electric pickup called the endurance are once again being pushed back the company said thursday the embattled ev startup said commercial production is now expected to start in the third quarter of next year compared to the second quarter due to an ongoing global issue with an auto supplier and supply chains it's the latest delay for the pickup which is was initially expected to begin production roughly a year ago and this is why people think that the company is spamming even with the 230 million dollar investment from foxconn the chip which car makers are fighting over is apparently so that lordstown motors which went up, as you can see, $8.05, crashed down greatly, okay? Uh, well, it didn't go up $8.05. This is just what the, the, the um, you see that graph, but it didn't go up. It went up over $6, but not $8. It was, the, the high of Lower Town Motors is actually $31, all right? So it, it crashed the modest delay from early expectations as component and material shortage along with other supply chain challenges remain an issue for lower towns motors just as they were uh are the industry at large lowest town ceo dan nanny veggie said in the company's third quarter financial reports release the rev the pre-revenue companies reported loss on 54 uh, 54 cents a share for the quarter and and was slightly narrower than the loss of 59 cents per share anticipated by analysis according to estimates compiled by refinity tv shares of the ohio-based automaker remain volatile the stock is down nearly 80 percent from its 52 week high of 31 dollars 57 cents Shares fell by 10% during after hours, trading Thursday after gaining 24% for the day to close at $6.89 a share. Well, if you want to buy today, it's going to be less than that. Uh, but I always think about buying on a dip. I think that is a lot of uh, questionable news, of course, but I think about buying on a dip. And if it dropped to $4, I've, I'm still bullish own this stock and i and i i probably will buy more the stock's performance thursday was its best trading day on a percentage basis in roughly a year it was driven by lowest time plan which were confirmed wednesday to sell its massive ohio plant to foxconn 
The sale is part of a larger deal where iPhone maker Foxconn will assemble electric pickups for the cash scrap company. The deal was initially announced in September. It will provide capital for Lordstown while giving Foxconn a, a jump stock to producing EVs. Foxconn also has a deal with startup Fisker to produce EVs in the coming years. Our goal is to become a capital light engineering design and development company based on producing multiple all electric vehicle programs, Nini Vaggy uh, told investors during a call Thursday. In Foxconn, we gain a great partner that has vision of an all EV future and the resources to build a global vehicle engineering and manufacturing footprint. Parts of the plant are yet to be completed for production of the endurance, according to Nini Vegi. Even so, he said Lost Town started assembling pre-production endurance models for testing and validation during the third quarter. It suspects continued building the truck through at least the first three quarters of next year. Aside from his financial troubles, Lost Town is under investigation by the Securities and Exchange Commission and the Department of Justice regarding its deal to go public as well as potentially false and misleading statements from former management, including former CEO and founder Steve Burns. Burns and his CFO left the spac back company in June after an internal investigation found issues regarding the accuracy and certain statements around Lordstown pre-orders, specifically the seriousness of the artists who, who was making them. Okay? So, once again, this is Antonio with Team Tigio. Please like, comment, and subscribe as we'll be coming to you with more videos just like this in the future. Release four or five videos a week. So, please subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. Uh, we're in the process of growing this channel. Uh, and also, leave comments below how do you feel about lost town are you still bullish on this company or do you feel bear bearish by the news that's coming out that they may be a little shaky all right this is antonio with team tigio and we will see you next time